So uh, today we both are going to show you how to make bamboo biochar at home. So this is a very simple process of pyrolysis which we are going to do. When we make uh, uh, bamboo biochar, so we have to go through a process called pyrolysis where we stop the oxygen and then we turn the bamboos, waste bamboo pieces into charcoal through pyrolysis. So how we do it in a small scale in our farms. So we are training our farmers to do at home. We don't want our farmers to buy again bamboo biochar. So how they can make uh, bamboo biochar for their home and uh, we are training on them and this is a very simple way to do it. And this is a pit method where we make a pit. So the pit size, uh, we are going to make a pit here as because we will be burning. So uh, we are taking a place where there are no trees above uh, in the farm and uh, we are selecting this place. So here what I have to do is, I have to uh, dig a pit which is on the top one feet. So I'm taking this as one feet. So we are marking it. So we will mark here. This is one feet long. This is uh, one feet because uh, we are going to do the pyrolysis process with a wet jute sack. I'm going to show you. And if the size is like this, it is good to cover and plus uh, we are training our farmers to just produce what they need surplus we can make it into a, a marketing option for livelihood security but we don't want to create needs into grid so that they start burning bamboos to make bamboo biochar we are training them how they use it for their own benefit in their fields and whatever surplus as a group they generate that can be marketed as a community enterprise making a uh, brand out of the whole village so this this I have marked so uh, Podmo is going to dig it and and another thing which I want to tell you is below uh, we will dig one feet the size of the pit will be one feet uh, but the base or the bottom of the pit will be like uh, half feet half of the scale so this will be like this half below uh, when we dig, we will make it. I'm just for your understanding, I'm, I'm showing this. So we will make half like this. So below it will be half feet by half, uh, half feet, and this is one feet by one feet. So the wall of the pit is like this slanting. So the burning is more properly uh, done, right? So we are going to dig it up now. So the first process in making bamboo biochar is uh, digging this pit and this pit we will use to burn the small cut pieces of bamboo like this and then uh, we will when the fire is full on so we will cover this pit with a wet jute sack uh, which is the process of pyrolysis uh, we will block then we will block the oxygen and we will first make the charcoal you know charcoal we know that uh, wood charcoal is made but uh, 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 the use of charcoal is of different, the, the difference between using charcoal for cooking or, or keeping us warm uh, is, is, is we burn it and, and we use it. But here we are using charcoal as a biochar. Uh, so biochar is a very good uh, fertilizer. It's, it's a natural fertilizer which uh, has got lot the power of attracting lots of microorganisms. Uh, and, and this microorganisms, uh, we will make this uh, bamboo charcoal after activation. After pyrolysis, I'm going to show you another process which is called activating the biochar. And after we do activation in our farm itself, and then we will powder it and we add to the soil. So it gives lots of nutrients and, and it adds lots of microbes to the soil. See, now this new age farmer who has to work with nature has to think about growing food by growing microorganisms. If we grow microorganisms in our soil, then automatically our uh, our plants and crops will also grow properly. So this is uh, a very simple way. And we use bamboo because bamboo charcoal 
pore spaces attract lots of these microorganisms and one of the major microorganisms which we are going to get through bamboo biochar is the mycorrhiza you know about the wood wide web so uh, the web that uh, this mycorrhiza fungus makes on the whole uh, soil and how it connects plants from each other how it communicates how it uh, uh, like exchange nutrients and how it brings water from distant area so this whole pipeline which is made by this uh, mycorrhiza fungus uh, is is something very important uh, it's a basis of life it's the basis of diversity in the forest so in our food forest also we apply lots of bamboo biochar so that we can build on the wood wide web so this pit is ready now this is one feet deep and below it is half feet and very nicely Podmo has made it into a pit where now we are going to burn the bamboos. When I say burn the bamboos, we don't make wood charcoal because the tree takes lots of years to grow but bamboo grows in four years. So bamboo is a wonder crop and I told you when we make charcoal and when we are going to attract the microorganisms, bamboo pore spaces are much better to attract the whole <coughs> microorganisms into it and we activate, we bring it and very simply we can make bamboo biochar at home. So now we are uh, burning the cut pieces of bamboo. So if you take this much size of uh, waste bamboo, uh, dry bamboo which we have at home, uh, many times uh, uh, we, we, we waste them. So now we can just uh, burn them like this in the pit. So we will burn until the fire catches the whole bamboo and then uh, we will cover it for the pyrolysis to check the oxygen and, and then we uh, let it burn for some time in the pit and we get the beautiful bamboo charcoal. And after charcoal I'm going to show you how we make it into, uh, activate into the bamboo biochar fertilizer. Now we need a jute bag and uh, it is wet we have uh, mixed one handful of cow dung and 10 liters of water and dip this uh, uh, jute bag for like 10 minutes and now this we will use to cover this fire so that we get the charcoal and this is a simple process of pyrolysis which without taking any big drums or making it big operation of making biofertilizer or the biochar fertilizer farmers can make it at home just we will cover this and now we will cover the white smoke coming out we will take the soil which we dug out and we will cover it And now you'll keep this for 24 hours like this it will be slowly burning inside and we get tomorrow morning we will get the beautiful bamboo charcoal to invite the microorganisms mainly the mycorrhiza fungus to the four spaces of the charcoal and then we will get our bamboo biochar now I'm in my kitchen here and uh, we eat rice, so I'm washing the rice. So this rice wash water, this white water which comes is full of starch. And this rice wash water which we get after washing the rice, we are going to store this because this will help us to activate the biochar. So when it comes to activating the biochar, uh, we use this uh, rice wash water. And this will have starch and then we will treat our charcoals, bamboo charcoals uh, with this water and then we will activate. I'm going to show you how we activate it. So now we are going to remove this. We kept it for 24 hours and now we are going to remove this and we are going to get our beautiful bamboo charcoal. Okay. Now the next process here is uh, we have to take rice water which we uh, get while washing rice in our kitchen so now we will just sprinkle rice water over the
charcoal which we have made. This is adding, uh, this is to add uh, uh, starch to this charcoal so that we can extract more fungus. Uh, because we know that tree manufactures, the big trees, canopy trees manufactures more food, starch through photosynthesis and releases it through the root hairs to feed the microbe. So we found that okay, our rice water was uh, rice was water has got uh, too much of starch. So we got this thing. We will just uh, select those. If if these are fully not burned, we can burn it again next time. We can keep it, but we can select the ones which are like fully burned. So I keep it here. So this is treated with rice wash water. So, so this rice wash water adds starch. So uh, now we have to activate the biochar. So the first process in activating the biochar, how we do is mix rice wash water to add the starch. And now I'm near a mother tree, big tree. And on the base of the big tree, there are lots of this beneficial microorganisms mainly the mycorrhiza on the root hairs. So now what we do is we have to activate, we have to invite the mycorrhiza fungus to this bamboo charcoal. So now what we are going to do is we are going to make a small, because the root hairs are on the top, okay? So this, see, see the root hairs, okay? So root hairs is, are on the top. So these are all root hairs. So here, just making with our hands, we will just place our biochar here, spread it. Spread it like this and we will use the dry leaves to cover it. We'll keep it for 24 hours minimum, but if we keep 48 hours or more also, we get more microbes coming here. And then after that, we will remove the dry leaves and collect our bamboo biochar fertilizer the charcoal which will have abundance of microorganisms which will help our plants to grow strong to give us normal healing healthy food so these are the final biochar product two forms one is like powder and one is granular we can make them into small granules like this and sprinkle over our land and we can also make it into powder and then sprinkle over the land uh, don't worry about the quantity because if you throw a small quantity to a big land also You can get the spores. We are not looking at how much biochar we are giving But we are counting on how much Beneficial microorganisms we are adding to our soil So even one spoon of this will have millions of those beneficial bacteria and the mycorrhiza fungus so uh, We are not worried about how much we so how we reach more areas if your area is big so you can make three parts of uh, bamboo biochar with one part of compost and you can sprinkle it or otherwise you can take 10 liters of water, mix uh, half kg of bamboo biochar and add two liters of rice wash water, make it into a slurry kind of thing, a mixture, liquid and then sprinkle it over all your land. Don't worry about that you have to wet the whole land, you just have to sprinkle it so that the spores go into your soil and they multiply and make your soil into a beautiful soil. Remember, the soil as farmers which we are using, the land which we are using is of our kids. We have to give it back to them. Bamboo biochar is the only very best way to make our soil very beautiful for our kids. We can get our food nicely, healthy healing food, and also we can heal the soil uh, after taking food. It's not only hurting the soil to take food, but also healing the soil to take food. And this is such a beautiful thing. In Northeast India, in all our hill states, we have abundance of bamboos. Many times we burn the bamboos in the name of slash and burn farming. These bamboos can be our soil builders. So don't burn bamboos, grow more bamboos, waste bamboos, convert into bamboo biofertilizers like the biochar. And you can also sell it to the whole world. It can be a livelihood, a climate-friendly livelihood, because we are doing it small. 
it's not big. Needs has to be controlled, not becoming grids. So you don't think about big biofertilizer plants, big way of doing it. Just small pit of one feet and half feet below size and you get abundance of your bamboo biochar for your use and all the village and the communities together can club in and the surplus can be made into a brand which we can give to other places where, do, where they don't have this wonder grass called bamboo. We make bamboo biochar fertilizer and supply it to the whole world.